So YouTubers, Love at Scout One, back in the back in the harness again. Um, this was on my update screen, and if you've seen my Pathfinder One video, um, you will uh, recall my uh, sort of shout out for a leather scabbard for it or a leather sheath. Um, if you follow some of my videos, you'll know that I'm very critical about leather work, and um, it's something that um, I would really like to learn how to do. Actually, um, I don't. I don't say it'll be an easy process, but I think I might have a go. Um, I've got some hide in the workshop, and I've got a couple of sharp knives, so um, I'm going to have a go. I think, and just and just see how we go on. This um, it wasn't actually made for this knife. Well, it could have been. Um, this was an eBay purchase. Uh, the guy that made it is a guy called Kev and he has dog soldier knives. If you've looked at my video for the dog soldier knives Altoid tin uh, survival kit, um, the same guy made it. Uh, if you can see there, that's the um, the bear claw print that he that he puts on his work. And when I saw it, I thought it said for a scout knife. Now scout knife could be anything uh, I know Pathfinder guys make a, a knife called the scout so I went for it um, and I think it's one that, that, that Kev's made for well for sale I think really um, I was a bit unsure about this scalloping um, but once I've once I've you know used it for a couple of weeks and I'm you know it's growing on me I'm really 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 beginning to like that it's 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 a bit different it's a bit cowboy um but it kind of looks like a fern it does look a bit like a um it looks a bit like a sort of a clamshell but it does look like a fern or a sea anemone or something like that but it's it, it's like it's nice I like it um the scabbard is is very very good leather it's high grained it's been treated and then because I've bought gear off Kev before I emailed him and just said you know I we're happy with the Altoids tin etc etc and he's put a, a couple of extra coats of mink coil on it for me um, and I, it, it's just a nice thing there's some really good ideas in it there the 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 um, the welts um, has, has had quite a lot of thought gone into it. It's really well polished. It's well it's well buffed and all burred over. There's no sharp edges on it. The welts are really good. He's had an extra welt. He's put an extra welt in there just to give a bit of extra bit of extra uh, room so that the knife doesn't cut the sheath when it's when it's put in and uh, when it's drawn. Um, I do like these. Uh, these clips, um, straps, whatever you want to call them, uh, allows for for side for side mounting on your belt. I, I'm wearing this on. I'm a right hander, um, and I'm wearing it on my left side so I can draw it off my belt safely that way. Um, but you could wear it sort of across your belt, sort of like that. Um, you could wear it upside down on your back so you can draw it out or you could wear it that way sort of that way with that to your back so you can draw it out this I like a great deal where the Sam Brown stud is um, it's it's been held back with two pieces of elastic that are knotted just a little touch but when you let go of the Sam Brown stud flicks it out of the way and it's under it's under it's not under any tension um, it's just under the tension of the knots and then of course when you when you put it back onto your belt and put it back onto the Sam Brown stud, it's very positive. Um, it wasn't expensive as an eBay purchase, um, and to probably to have one custom made, I would have probably paid three times what I paid for this. But I really do like it. I'm real. I'm still really liking the Pathfinder knife. Um, I've been using it a great deal. Um, I've not had to give a lot of attention to it I've just run over it with a, a little um, fault niven paddle one of those diamond paddles I've got one of those in the truck and just on odd occasion I've just given it a just given it a, a quick you can see what I've missed there uh, just giving it a quick you know few passes over just to keep it keen just to keep the blade keen um, I'm really liking Makata I've not had knives with Makata handles before but I really do like really do like it um, I've had this knife a few months now um, I've done mainly camp chores with it I've done a couple of deer with it um, in fact I did a, a, a road a road door with it 
um, and did it, did the growlick with it, did all the butchery with it, and, um, you know, was quite fastidious in cleaning it. Um, it did get a bit of blood staining just onto the onto the Makata, um, but that, that did wear off after a few days. Uh, it's a very, very capable knife, really, really capable, and more... It has got that bushcraft grind and has got that Scandinavian sort of sh shape to the to the grind, but is is definitely in the in the old trade knife style, uh, which is a, is something I really like. Um, it's kind of oldy world. It got kind of old world charm, but with modern materials, uh, and now you know sort of coupled with with this um, with this dog soldier knife scabbard I really really think it's going to be a, a knife that I'm going to continue to use and, and use a lot um, I, I do like it uh, yeah they're a chunk of money um, but you know you, you only buy good gear once and you know if you buy good gear once you look after it and 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 try and, and just try and keep you know try and keep keep up to it keep it sharpened keep it keen um, keep the stuff clean or the blade occasionally uh, look after the scabbard but as a scabbard um excellent he does sell his gear on he does sell uh kev does sell his gear on on ebay if you're looking for you know custom leather stuff i know he does a lot for the falk niven f1 um but he does do bespoke work um you know i'm not sponsored by him i'm not getting any kickbacks from him or anything else i'm just speaking as a fine and just trying to help a, you know trying to help another brother out uh but Look him up, Dog Soldier Knives, just Google it, um, and then, you know, if you want something making or whatever, then, you know, try it out, but, but you know, it's been been my experience that, you know, his gear's good, and he's always given me excellent customer service, and there's no reason why, you know, <clears throat> you shouldn't offer you the same. So, um, Pathfinder 1 Scabbard, double thumbs up, I really like it. And um, I, you know, I would I would use uh, dog soldier knives again for for you know for other kit. Um, I hope that's of some interest here. Uh, by all means, you know, give me some feedback, like, comment, subscribe. Um, and uh, I've got another video coming straight up, so I'll uh, I'll I'll get this one uploaded, and then we'll uh, we'll we'll crack on. All right, fellas, thank you very much. Cheers. Bye bye.